Dear Chair, once again, I would like to express my condolences to the relatives of Ambassador Atanasio Carabinieri Ecovacci and the driver of the World Food Programme and, and the other victims of the brutal attack last week. As a former ambassador to Italy and a permanent representative to the World Food Programme, I am fully aware of the valuable work this organization delivers and the challenging circumstances in which it operates. The World Food Programme truly deserves its Nobel Peace Prize. Since the incident, many questions are still unanswered. On what basis was the security of the route cleared for the convoy? Why was the convoy not provided with higher, more security measures? The martyrdom of the ambassador will not go in vain, as it also raises the awareness of the security situation in the region, affecting civilians and the work of international organizations. What is the contribution of the European Union to the security situation in the region? Will we increase this cooperation and the coordination in its near future? And if we can learn one lesson from this attack, it is that there cannot be development without security. Thank you very much.